Did you know that we have a new Salesforce mobile app coming? That's right. And in this new Salesforce mobile app, you're going to be able to use Lightning App Builder to manage that page experience for your users, whether they're on a mobile device or on desktop. So we're gonna take a look at how you can get hands-on uh, with your Winter 20 pre-release orgs and start to build out some custom pages for your users and also turn on that experience for yourself and your users. So let's take a look. So to get started, we're going to get our Winter 20 pre-release org. The link is in the blog and in the video description. So once we get our new Winter 20 pre-rel org, then we can go ahead and sign into it. And here we are in our brand new fresh Winter 20 org. And on the left panel, we now have a Salesforce mobile app quick start menu item. This is gonna have everything you need to get started with the mobile app. There's a great video in here that I suggest watching. And we've got a button called Ad Upgrade Admin Tools. We wanna to click Upgrade here because this will make available to us all of those tools we're going to be using to customize our user experience. So we click Upgrade Admin Tools and then let's go ahead and click on Upgrade Your Users, Take Me There. Now, we're giving mobile access here via permission set. So we're going to create a new permission set for our new Lightning on Mobile experience. So we call it Lightning on Mobile. You can call this a new mobile app, whatever you'd like. And once we create that permission set, we need to go ahead and add the appropriate system perms for it. So if we scroll all the way down to system permissions, then we can edit this page and edit which system permissions this particular permission set will grant to users. So here, once we've clicked edit, we're just gonna control F for mobile and we can find the new Salesforce mobile app in the system permissions, that's great. That's the only perm we need to check for this perm set. So then we go back up to the top and click save. Awesome. Now, because we're admins and we wanna get hands-on with this mobile app and start to build that experience, we're gonna go ahead and assign this to ourselves to get started. So we're gonna go into manage assignments and add ourselves as the admin user to that permission set or add that permission set to ourselves as a user. So once we've done that, now we can jump into our mobile app. So I already had this open to an opportunity page and I'm gonna quit out of Salesforce and I'm gonna go back into my Salesforce app and now that I have that perm set, I've got a different look and feel to my Salesforce mobile app. I've got the app launcher, I can go into one of my opportunities and I can see that opportunity page has a different look and feel and I've got my tabs, my details, chatter and related at the bottom. And if I click into say my related list, I've got a different related list look and feel um, than I did previously. So this is a great way to get started with the mobile app and create that perm set so you can start customizing pages and testing them. So that's just the first step in getting started with the new Salesforce mobile app. I can't wait to see all of your mobile experiences and what you share with us on social. Um, it's really fun to just take a screenshot of you know, your new record page or your mobile experience page now that you've enabled mobile for yourself or the new mobile for yourself. Um, so I can't wait to check it out on Twitter with hashtag awesomeadmin. And we're gonna have more videos coming over the course of this week that show you how you can build custom pages and really fine tune that user experience for your mobile users. So thanks for joining and we'll see you tomorrow.